I just finished the game. I know. Probably most of you guys killed the last boss, which is... Just kidding, man. I don't want you to post me on Twitter and send an angry mob towards me. Although it is traffic. Should I remove the blur on this thing? Nah. Maybe for another time. In this video, I'll show you a repetitive cheesy way to earn your bottle caps. The prerequisite is to beat the game first, because you need it to get access to 8-star exploration quests. Before we start, please, 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 subscribe and also like the video if this one helps or comment down a random thing that happened to you in the comment section for the algorithm. Enough shilling, let's get down to business. First, team composition. Level up an Nargakuga. Doesn't matter if it's damn OP. It just needs to be leveled up around 3538. Nargakuga would be your speed monster. Up to you who to bring for your power and your technical. The riding actions don't matter. The power and technical monster should be around 38 plus as well. Next, grab an expedition ticket. These things cost around 30k zennies a piece. If you don't have enough zenny, go sell your sell-in items. You might be surprised that you have an easy 100k line around there in your inventory that you don't know about. Next, time to go on a co-op expedition. What I mean by this is a placebo co-op expedition. You're technically just going to aim for a computer to be your battle buddy because you are selfish and you don't want to share your 30k ticket with the freeloader. Now that the expedition has started, this is the beauty of expeditions versus Everdens in terms of bottle cap grinding. All the chests would be accessible, meaning all the chests would be placed at locations wherein it doesn't demand a specific monster ride skill. No need to swim, climb, jump. All the chests, you can just walk towards them, turn invisible, and just go for the chest. Some have bottle caps, some have none. Then when you are done with the chest, just go towards the boss in the area. The eggs don't really matter as well in my opinion, since it's a crappy den. If ever you do want to get eggs, the egg after you slay the boss is the only egg that matters. These low expeditions can give you the chance to get a Nergigante too. It is that simple. No need to think about climbing, digging, to reach chests in expeditions. Just bring one of each Monsi type and of course Nargakuga so you can be invisible. Bottle caps are damn essential because you can increase your stable size up to 500. And also the expedition slots would be opened. The tickets to make these things maxed out would all be available with the Melinx vendor. And if you just grind and grind this route over and over again, you can just max those up in no time. Another thing would be the super rare den tickets, which cost about 100 bottle caps each. From experience, I get around 30 to 40 bottle caps per run in 10 minutes. So technically I can get to buy one super rare den ticket under an hour. I'm still exploring and learning the game for now. More videos coming soon. Thank you so much for your time. See you in the next video.